welcome back to another Betwixt the Row episode. Tonight went and saw Fantasy Island, which is uh, what did I read? It was a reimagining of the old TV show with like a sort of horror twist. I say that reluctantly because it was fucking garbage. <laughs> um, yeah, what did you think of it? I don't know. I mean, I thought it was what it was. I mean, I wasn't really expecting much. Yeah. Just, uh, it was a bit boring. Yes. It was predictable and standard. Yeah. I don't, I just, it's one of those things, again, it's. Um, is it Bloomhouse or whatever? Yeah. They have like a really good one. Like the Invisible Man. That was Bloomhouse, man. I'm not sure. I think that's something else. Anyway, yeah. They'll have like a really good one, and then they'll have like a really shit one, and this is a really shit one. And it, it, actually, it wasn't as shit as Black Christmas, but it was getting there. And it was, it was like the... There was too many people. Mm -hmm. For a start. Because they had to do everyone's fantasy. Mm -hmm. So there was too many people. But their mum said in the original show there was five. So I can let that go because they were trying to go with the original one. But then... Halfway... Nothing happened halfway through. Oh, you saw a few flashes of some fucking burn guy. But you've sat there for 45 minutes and you're still going through everyone's fantasies. Mm. And that's what did my head in. And then when it finally started getting going, it just made it, the story really obvious what was going on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know, like, I thought the fantasies were the most interesting part. After that, it just sort of switched off. Yeah, it became a really generic, like, B hor uh, like horror movie. And it wasn't even that. There was only sort of one person that really had anything happen to him and that was really undramatic. Mm. From this point on there's probably gonna be spoilers so the film was shit. Unless the only the only way the film wasn't shit is if you appreciated the old T V series which Mum did and she liked it. That's the only reason I think you would enjoy it as the old one. But yeah the the bit as well annoying me is the end. Like they go through all that trouble and like I said, only like one person dies because they bring the other person back, don't they? Mm. And then they they leave the they leave the island. Like they don't like escape the island. They leave. They they wake up in a bed. They get on a plane quite freely and they leave. Mm. It's a very happy ending. It doesn't make any sense. But then I think that's that. Like Mum said in the TV show, at the end of the TV show, they got on a plane they left. Mm. So what they should have done is taken the idea of Fantasy Island, which is quite a cool concept, which they did, and then try and make it their own, which normally annoys me with things like that. But you needed to do that with that. Mm, they should have just. They should have made it more horror. Yeah. Instead either of, make it Fantasy it. Island. Which then is a family film because Mum says it's literally about someone, a people, a family that, about people living their fantasies and then leaving, mm. or make an island where, the, like you know, like a Wishmaster. Yeah. So they go and they get their fantasies, but they're fucked up. Yeah. Like. like yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can't have both. You can't be like. Oh yeah, a group of people come to an island to have their fantasies. Oh, they have really good fantasies. They get a bit fucked up, and then they've done it. So then they can leave. They're free to leave. And so they make any mm. sense? I was hoping it would have been like a cabin in the woods thing, where like the fantasy would have like sacrificed them to like to keep a god at bay or something. But it just turned into like, oh, it was just one of their fantasies that wanted to kill them all. We just got a bit. And yeah, it didn't make sense. And then mm -hmm. the thing as well, with like he was like, oh, as long as I do what they want me to do, then my wife stays alive. But then he sacrifices her, and then he's like, I'm staying to look after the island. It's like, but your conditions were, if you, you stayed and helped the island, your wife would stay alive. Mm. Wouldn't there be consequences for him to then change his mind? Like that didn't make sense to me. Like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Like, we'll take that back, and you've had your fantasy now. So, yeah. yeah and he kept talking. He kept making out like the island was like alive, or the island 
wanted, yeah, wanted yeah, to like, the island, wanted like, like had a consciousness or something, but it was just black water. Yeah, it was just a, a pond with a crystal in the middle. It didn't really like interact with any of them, or it didn't. It wasn't like it was talking to him. No, not at all. So it, it just, yeah, no. I think the whole thing was they were trying to stick to Fantasy Island to get people in the seats, and then they were trying to throw in some horror. It was probably someone that watched the show and was like, you know, that bit there, that'd be really good if someone got shot. And there they did it. They made a beautiful about it. Yeah, because you, you probably could make a good horror out of it because it's like fantasies. You, people get fucked up fantasies and stuff like that. But they just sort of played it too safe for the film. Yeah. Just Actually, which cushy. is a lot like Cabin in the Woods because right at the end of that, they show you all these great possibilities of things, like monsters they could have had, but they went with zombies. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I just, I suppose, I think it's shit because I was expecting something else. Yeah. I think it was yeah, just a basic movie, and Mum enjoyed it because she liked the old ones. And I don't have that sort of. To me, that was just a terrible. What was supposed to be a horror film. <laughs> That's what the trailer made out. Yeah. In fact, the trailer when I was watching the film, I thought to myself, oh, actually, it didn't give too much away. But the film is still shit. <laughs> I mean, like, it's like, oh yeah, actually, I, I take back what I said about the trailer, but the film's still garbage. I mean, I mean it's a. Uh, I just, oh, I don't know. It just, it just annoys me, I think. Mm, it was just a generic, boring, scary movie. It wasn't even scary, like, it was really, really fucking predictable. Like, really badly predictable. Hmm. Like if even like placement of like cameras, like you're like, oh, there's gonna be someone there. Oh, look, there's someone there. Oh, they look, oh, look, there's one there. I mean, yeah, it had no. Didn't even have any real scares. No. No, I think this video is gonna be a short one because it's just a generic turd, and uh, wait for it. If you want to have something to watch, wait for it to come on and be free somewhere, and you just think, oh, I'll just that one in the background because that's about what it's worth. Yeah. I'm never going to watch it again. Not at all. Mm. I may go back and watch the old TV show, just because I'm curious. I, I want to see the little Chinese man shout the plane, the plane. <laughs> He's Chinese. Um, but yeah, to give it a miss. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't bother. If you want a sum up of it, I'll do another video. It'll take me about two minutes to explain the entirety of the film. But if you want to see that, leave that in the comments. Not the many, many people will want to see that. Um, or like the video, and uh, if you want to see anything else about that film, shit, yeah, I agree, we'll catch you next time.